you know what could be a, the best um, kind of like action that we can do is like educate ourselves in the very beginning and then start taking action you know start taking action uh, about you know what's the problem what do i feel more stressed or more scared about and what can i do and how can i help other people with those problems and at the same time you know starting with something small and then usually expanding How did you first experience the effects of climate change and why did you feel you needed to become active to fight climate change But I saw its if impact uh, you know in my home state in 2013 when the kedana flash flood occurred so i watched the destruction on television with my mom and my dad went there to rescue the animals because he works for wildlife conservation so my mom was watching the television 24/7 and you know there were updates of you know what's going on and i still remember seeing those visuals of you know water being everywhere and everything being destroyed there was no kind of like you know uh not a single place which i would say that oh this was this place back then it was just you know kind of like very scary and what i can say was that you know seeing all those visuals of people uh, you know being tense about their family members about their old parents and kids crying that they've lost their family members and their parents and they don't know what next they're going to do i feel like that's that's that was the part when i think of you know how did it happen and you know um what 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 should be done you know and what was this because for me i was like 5 or 6 at that point of time so for a 5 or 6 year old you know it was the very first destruction that i saw in my life and it was one of the most you know uh, kind of like destruct most destructive destruction i can say i i saw in my whole life so i mean that was the point of time when my mom told me about flash floods and how that particular flash flood occurred and from that point of time i started having nightmares that i died because of a flash flood and i used to be very scared of you know thundering and specifically when it used to rain at night and it used to thunder i mean it's just like yesterday it was raining at night and it was a super hectic night for me i can say um and kind of like having these nightmares for a while i just decided that you know i just want to do something you know for myself um so that i don't have to deal with these you know nightmares and all these things you know for a longer period of time and i was like how long am i going to think that i'm going to die someday because of a disaster if you were prime minister of india what are the first things you will do um i feel like um if i would be the prime minister though i'm not kind of like you know a person who likes politics because i just feel like it's you know when you go into politics it's all corruption and stuff like that but i feel like if i would be the prime minister the very first thing i would do is you know conserve as much as i can because i mean and make people realize you know the importance of uh, uh say environment or biodiversity around them and you know have policies that would benefit the environment the you know the other species and also the humans and you know creating this balance that i've been wanting for so long northern india has very bad air pollution what can we do to reverse this have you experienced the effects of air pollution I mean how how I uh, got affected by climate uh, by air pollution was that I went to Delhi in 2019 um on children's day to celebrate it with other schools so I had this campaign going on and so I was talking to school kids about what climate change is I was trying to motivate them to empower them to take action and uh, they invited me on a uh, kind of like children's day to you know celebrate and you know to talk with the kids and to have workshops with them so i was kind of like truly really excited but the moment i was in delhi i just was able to feel that something is wrong with me because i was able to feel the smoke going inside my body and my eyes were all itchy and i was not able to breathe i just felt this you know huge kind of like um, a huge burden on my chest i just felt like you know there are like kgs of stones on my chest and i just you know i just want to lift them up and i was not able to breathe properly and my eyes were all red it was all you know ishy and uh, it was just you know a point of thing which you know i just i just wanted to stop breathing because i was not just not feeling that easy and uh, there was a point of time when i just broke down i was like i didn't want it to live in delhi i just didn't want it to stay in india we had the chipko movement which was one of the first grassroots environmental movements and it stopped deforestation in northern india what have we learned from this how can people organize to make local changes that affect them directly 
they are one of the, my biggest inspirations and i can say what what we can really learn is that you know if everyone comes together the biggest message from that movement would be that if we all come together we would be able to change you know it's just that you know we have to understand that i have to come up i you know i just can't rely on someone else to you know do something for me, me you know we have to take action for ourselves we have to be responsible for ourselves and if we all do come together you know 